Hannah here and today I'm here with a tag video for you guys. Sorry, fix myself up before I start. <laughs> so I am doing the Create Your Palette, Your Own Eyeshadow Palette tag that was created by Kat from Kitchen Niche and she's a, oh, oh my goodness. She's a fellow, fellow Aussie YouTuber, so definitely check her out. I will link her down below. But I really like the idea of this tag. It's basically you're creating your own, like, 12 pen like you're creating your own 12 pen eyeshadow palette now i know there was like the perfect palette tag where you picked particular parts like it said pick to this to this to this to this like it told you what you had to pick but for this tag it's literally pick any eyeshadow colors you want in your own that to create your own palette but you have to use existing single shadows like or palette colors from somewhere else now I kind of take this tag as I'm creating my own palette if I could only buy one palette it would obviously be my own so these are like if I could own like the like the best of the best my favorite what I need to create an eyeshadow look colors now I've done a tutorial for this look using these colors obviously you can't see it so much behind my glasses but it is there um, so I will have that up in a couple of days um, so you can see how these guys kind of work in action. Obviously I didn't use all 12 shades. I can't fit 12 eyeshadows on my eyes. I don't know how someone would do that. But it does get, use quite a few of them. So I'm going to go in and just tell you the colours, why I picked them. And yeah, so let's just get started. So the first colour I wanted was a matte cream colour. Now I kind of gave myself a list of what I needed like in my ideal palette. Um... And then I went and swatched all of those kind of colours that I had in my existing shadows and palettes and then picked my favourite out of them. So for matte cream, so the first colour I've gone for is Tarte's Whisper. So that is this one in the Tartlet Tease palette. So it is a pinky cream off white colour and it is great as an eyebrow bone highlight which I have on today. I don't love an intense brow bone highlight, I just like it a little bit lifted. It's an awesome base colour. So I'm going to do exactly what Kat did and wait till the end of the video and swatch them all together. So we'll move on to the next one, which is a shimmery cream colour. So from my inner corner, I love a shimmery cream colour. And I also love hand gestures, as you guys probably know. Um, now I have thrown out the naming sheet for my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. But as you guys can probably tell, my favourite kind of inner corner highlight is this one here. So it's a off it's again an off-white almost with a pinky base and I'm not going to swatch them yet why did I do that so this one here in the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette it's a gorgeous just shimmery pinky cream color and it's perfect for the inner corner again I have it on today and I totally just got eyeshadows all over my hand I've gone through so many wipes trying to pick these colors today it's quite funny Next was transition shades for the crease. Now, my ideal palette, I need a warm toned crease shade and a cool toned crease shade so that if I'm wearing a warm toned look, they complement or contrast really well. So for my warm toned crease shade, I went with uh, the Laura, from the Laura Mercier Art, I Art Artist palette. I went for Fresco, which is this one here. So it's like... A pinky brown mid-toned kind of color and it's a matte obviously I did kind of go for all my mattes first so that's a gorgeous just it's a gorgeous transition shade it's what I have on today and then for my cool toned transition shade I went for Lorax Mauve now Kat picked this one as well she's a little bit darker than me but very similar skin tones where the mauve color from Tarte is literally the best cool tone transition shade ever I love it. Then, I'm going to keep this powered because we then move on to a deep brown. So I have this on my outer corner today and that is Lorax Espresso. So it's a really deep chocolate brown. Um, I have it through my socket mixed with Fresco, like blended together and then on my outer corner just on its own. So you can deepen it up or sh it's not as easy to shear out. You really need to blend it with something to shear it out. But it's something that goes deep enough that I would never use. I never use blacks. I don't use black eyeshadows. For, so for me, having a black in an eyeshadow palette is kind of a waste. I'll like use it a little bit, but not enough. 
they need that many black. So having espresso, which is really deep, gives me enough def color to define the eye, but still I can wear it on an everyday basis as well. Now for me, I need two deep colors. I need to play them to play off each other. So going back to my Laura Mercier palette, Laura Mercier and Lorac make like the best matte shadows that I have, that I own. Um, so the, again from the Eye Artist palette, Violet Ink. So I have this across my lower lash line as an eyeliner. So this is, so you're probably thinking, why don't you pick Espresso Bean? Espresso Bean was too dark and you can't actually blend it out as easily as Lorac Espresso. But Violet Ink is just this gorgeous deep purple. And because I have brown eyes, purples obviously make them pop. So I really love wearing a purple either in the outer corner on, or on the lower lash line to give it that real pop. Next, we move on to lid shades. So I've, all the things are on my phone. My phone just locked, my, locked me out. Lid shades. So I had a cute, I love playing, when I'm playing with colours, it's usually on the lid. So the inner portion of my lid it's always where I kind of play with shimmers. I, I love my matte bases, but shimmer always goes on my mobile lid. So for that, I needed to pick a really pretty champagne. So my pick for my favourite champagne colour is still a kitten. Again, I kind of gave myself descriptions of what I'd need in my ideal palette, which is, to me is a champagne. Why do I keep swatching? Why do I keep swatching? Because I'm in the habit of swatching. I need to wait to end. Steel Kitten. This is gorgeous pink based champagne. Steel is number one selling eyeshadow. I have it kind of, you can't really see at all. Just on like the inner third of my eyelid. Um, it's really shimmery, really, really beautiful. And it just gives a pop to the eyes. I find it really brightening. Again, my phone's going to lock me out. The next colour I was after was a really gorgeous gold. So the one I went for was from my Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. Again, I've lost the sleeve that has the colours on it, which is really why I dislike when palettes give those plastic sleeves for things like this when I want to talk about them. So I'm talking about the gold in this palette here. So it's a really... It's a real... It's a yellow gold, but it's not too deep. So... It's very flattering because I am quite fair. When it gets too deep of a gold and very mm -hmm. yellow, it looks very off-putting on my eye and very, very just strange. So this is still light enough, almost ve veering on the champagne side, that I can wear it really easily, but it's still got enough yellow gold to it. So there's that one. Then I need a gorgeous bronze color so what i have on my eyelids today this is like and i love this color because i can use it as a, that one and done eyeshadow color which is also kind of what i was after that is max woodwind this is the best one and done eyeshadow color ever and so that is why i kind of needed it in this palette but it also makes a gorgeous bronzy lid color so i have it on today kind of here is you'll see in the tutorial that Max Woodwinked was that one. Then I went for a bit of a deeper Topia bronze. And this was, I wasn't going to do this, but I was like, I do really love those deeper colours as well. Like, I love going really bright on the eyelid, but I love it when I can go deep as well. This, as you're going, it's like, Hannah, hey, this is not a deep colour. This is NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in Himalaya. Now, I think this is absolutely gorgeous, both wet and dry. So, it, it it's gorgeous. It's that bronzy, taupey, but it's that it's deeper than the other colours that I have. So, there is that one. Even though it has that intense amount of shine to it, it's still quite deep. Then, a rose goldy colour. I don't know, I'm into the rose golds lately. I think everyone kind of is. So I went for my End of It Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Grandstand. So it's this one here. Obviously Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow is very intensely metallic and pigmented. And this is just the most gorgeous rose gold tone. Again, perfect lid colour and it just blends out beautifully. Now the last colour I picked 
was a color that I kind of can't live without this color in my stash. Um, whether it be this particular color or something like this, this is my Makeup Forever Artist Shadow. Now, I didn't get a little pin to pop out this color, but it is kind of a whiny, purpley, shimmery color. Um, so it's a this one's a diamond finish. I just can't remember the number. If I can find it, I will link it down below with all of the rest of the shades. But it's this purple color here. I love this color for so many reasons. I love it for a one and done all over eyeshadow look when I want something really, really like raspberry. I love it through the socket of the eye when I'm going really purpley in the socket and then something quite light on the lid. It is just the most gorgeous color ever. It's... It's not like Max Cranberry, it's got much more purple to it, but oh, I just love it. I love this colour and I think I'd need it in that palette. So now we're just going to swatch them all in order and see, show you what my palette looks like. So, okay, so I tried filming this yesterday um, and the colours just weren't showing up on the camera. So I'm going to do an arm swatch like this, like cat. And let's just start. So the first colour is Tarte's Whisper. That's obviously not going to show up much because it's cream, but it's just this really pretty off-white with a cream with a pink base, or just matte colour. Next is my kind of shimmery cream, which comes from my Too Faced palette. Um, again, I've lost the naming sheet for this one. But it's just this gorgeous kind of pinky cream colour with a gorgeous shimmer. Then we'll move on to Steeler's Kitten. So this is just a really pretty champagne colour. It's a bit of powdery, but I find that to get that intense shimmer that it gives, you kind of have to have that. And as you guys saw, um, I've already broken one of the shades in that palette because it is quite a powdery formula. But... It sits really well in the eyes, particularly when you pack it on. Then we'll go from the gold, go for the gold in the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. You can see it's quite gold next to Kitten, but um, yeah, it's really still quite flattering on fair skin. Then we'll move. Onto NARS Himalaya. I love this colour. You can see it's a lot deeper than it looks in the pan. And that's just what to dry. So it still has quite an intense sheen dry as well as wet. Then we have Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in Grandstand. Which again, Foiled has that quite metallic look that's quite sheared out. But you can really pack on the shimmer there. Then we have the Makeup Forever Diamond Shadow. It's that gorgeous kind of raspberry colour. I'm going to build that up because you really can get it quite purpley or quite raspberry. On to the matte shades. So we'll start with the Laura Mercier Fresco. Again, your mattes need a little bit more building up, but it's a gorgeous kind of neutral, rosy toned brown. Lorax Mauve, which again, they blend beautifully on the eye, but the colour pickup when you swatch them isn't the greatest. So that's a really just cool purpley colour. And then the two deep ones are Lorax Espresso. Again, Lorac has a powdery formula of eyeshadows, you guys probably know that. It's a really deep brown. And then Laura Mercier's Violet Ink. I love that this is a purple, but it still has that intensity of pigment. Okay, so that's my eyeshadow palette. Obviously quite a neutral palette. You could probably find something quite similar out there. But to me, these are like if I could only have these kind of shades in a palette. This is what I'd want. Okay. So I'm gonna tag a few people down below, but if you're not tagged, don't say take that as a oh I'm not gonna can't do this video. Definitely if you do this video, let me know. I'd love to see it. I think it's a really cool concept. 
of what kind of colors everyone would use on their eyes and what they would love in their own ideal palette but yes so give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it let me know if there's any other tags you guys want me to do in the comments down below and click subscribe the buttons are down here it'll keep you up to date on all my videos and i'll see you in my next one bye